sitcoms, news, films, all of it, magazines, newspapers. We're, we're entities of our own, and so we have the ability for rational thinking, for logical thinking, for analytical thinking, and for creative thinking. And we have to take everything that's out there and decide how we're going to ingest it. And if we're going to do it, let's do it critically and, and, and question. There's nothing wrong with questioning. But if I understand what you were trying to say, you should make alcohol illegal and legalize drugs. Is that right? You're going to legalize some drugs. Let's say you're going to legalize marijuana. Make alcohol illegal and the rest of the drugs illegal. I mean, you have the same problem you have right now. Without us, there would be um, anarchy. Our responsibility is to keep uh, control, keep a, a sense of order about society. Without some type of order, there would be chaos without some type of order. And that's something that, you know, that can't happen in society. You know, obviously I'm here to enforce the laws, you know, but I'm here to also be a pillar of the community. You know, I'm here to make sure that the laws are enforced and I'm here to make sure that, you know, everything is going correctly in the town. The police arrest people because they believe they're guilty, but the ultimate decision on whether they're guilty or not guilty resides with me. There are way more people going free who need to be in jail than those being put in jail who shouldn't be. People it's are trading security for freedom. The minimum penalty for possession of marijuana less than an ounce in Arizona is a fine of almost $1,400, no matter how much you've got. If you've got three seeds in your pocket. Since the Civil War, you have state governments and the United States government that write laws that are called statutes that come from the Roman Empire. And those, when you read the statutes, one would get the impression from reading them that there are laws that compel us to perform. You know, like don't speed, don't smoke pot. And the government has, does not have that power. You're free to do whatever you want to do as long as you don't trespass on the life, liberty, or property of another human being. So we've got to get familiar with who we are in this country or we're going to lose it all forever. You've got all these little laws and codes and rules and regulations and it's just, it's basically what it is, I think, is, is to keep people in this perpetual state where they're used to being controlled. It's getting people used to being controlled in so much that everything that they do, they have these little rules that they've got to memorize and abide by. So that when there's a new rule, it's, you know, it's nothing big, it's nothing serious, it's just a new rule, no big deal. If you're in the wrong crowd and you say the, world, the words new world order, people will dismiss you as a conspiracy nut. But you can look at fucking videotape of Bush and his dad, and Dan Quayle, and Ronald Reagan, and Oliver North, and all these public officials, and these public figures saying the world's words, new world order. So what does that mean? I've never gotten a factual description out of these people of what they mean when they say new world order. The only thing they could be talking about, f from what I've seen manifest, when they say new world order, they're talking about a global military police state, okay? That's developing right in front of our faces. We can't deny that. There's a lot of people who are still suffering in the world, you know, and they're suffering because of other people thinking that power is, is how much money you got in your pocket or how much you can own other people, you know, how much you can control others. But personally, I just think that like you do, this, this new age, this disposable society is going to dispose of itself. And then it's going to get back to the earth as it always has. You and I have been trained, you know, hypnotically to dance to their tempo. You know, we get up in the morning, we go to work, we get off our job. Uh, we may run to the gym, we may uh, um, run to the bar, we may do something, you know, for ourselves in that little space of time we have between the time we punch out at the end of the day and the time we punch in the next morning, and thank God they give us a weekend, right? The powers that be have got us trained to snap, 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 you know? And by the way, when you're leaving from your house in the morning and on your way to work, you better buy, drive the fucking speed limit, you better not cross the double yellow line, you better not blow past that traffic camera and look at what it's getting us. It's getting us uh, a really polluted earth, it's getting us, uh, you know, war and famine, disease everywhere, it's getting us uh, poisonous air to breathe, you know, so I agree that we should slow down quite a bit, we need to do that. So the people that have taken oaths that have violated our rights need to go to prison. The prisons that, are, that they're building to put me and you in are where they need to be.
But that's only going to happen if the people start to wake up, form common law grand juries, hand down criminal indictments to public officials. If they fail to recognize our supreme authority, then what they're saying is that we now control you and we rule you. Who has the right? Who has the right? Nobody. Nobody has the right. The Buddha would tell you that the three root poisons three reasons that we suffer at all are hatred, greed, and ignorance. Western society is pretty much built on it. It's not a spiritually based society. It's built on capitalism, on greed. One person can't change the world. The only way we can change the world is by joining together and organizing because as long as we depend on Fox Network for our ideas and our news, we're never going to get out of our living rooms and get together and, and, and organize for social change. So how do we wake up? We wake up one person at a time. That's the message I want to pass on. Your effect on me, on other people, my effect on you, as we, are we moving up or are we moving down? It would seem like we're moving down, not up. If you said to me, hey, I want to be, I want to be more caring, more humanistic, show more love. I want to support people, humanity on a deeper level. That starts with you. Uh, your effect on somebody else and your way of demonstrating that may affect somebody else. Eventually, could we affect each other over the eons of time so we move up? Because people are curious, even fearful people still have curiosity. There is a window into human nature and into the entire human mind to inject respect for life artfully. The aliveness comes from saying yes to the moment as it occurs without resistance. But how much resistance do we have to the moment? To be fully alive in life may require a lot of meditating. To be really quiet the mind and notice what's going on other than rushing somewhere else. Because our whole society, which is what you're saying, where the hell are we rushing to in the first place? Anytime but now, anywhere but here, anyone but me, I've got to think about my own life. Anytime but now, to get caught up in society and all this ridiculous society bull. Your new laptop and your new cell phone that has yeah, ringing tones by the Black Eyed Peas. Nick broke up with Jessica. Nick's got Jessica's mansion. You know, Miller time. Nice yeah. little white picket fence and an oak tree in the front yard and a dog named Spot. Professional athletes are making billions of dollars. <clears throat> we have ball, pay ball players who make $400, $500 million. I mean, it's just an absurd system. Are they worth it? No, but the people want it, and the people will pay, and so that's what they're getting. How ridiculous is the bird flu? You know? Flash fires, flash floods. You know, there's a murderer on the loose. You're literally making people crazy. Hey, if you step out and take an objective look at the human race, where we're going, what we're doing, how we're advancing, and how we're stagnating ourselves to stay within this ridiculous social construct, like, who cares if Britney Spears is pregnant? Okay, honestly, who cares? It's some girl that lives in California. Yeah,